Dear Mama Bear, you give me hope. If I'm honest, Mother's Day is hard for me. And if I'm really honest, it's one of my least favorite days of the year. As others post mother-daughter photos on social media and praise their mother with accolades for all the support they've given them throughout the years, my heart aches because I wish that that story was mine. As a girl, my mom and I shared many mother-daughter moments. Growing up in a conservative, fundamental, evangelical Christian home, God was first, family was second. My father, who held a prominent position at Focus on the Family, was active in our lives. And my mom, who stayed home, worked hard to bring us up in the way that we should go, through homeschooling us, teaching us biblical principles, and incorporating godly family values into our daily lives. Let's just say the expectation to follow in his footsteps was high. I remember my mom frequently telling me, Amber, friends will come and go, but your family will always be there for you. Trusting that, I expected the close family bond we shared to remain that way through all of life's ups and downs. But when I realized that I was gay and came out to my family at the age of 27, everything changed. Suddenly, with one vulnerable sentence, I was no longer the daughter they knew, or the daughter they raised, or the daughter they loved. Looking at me with devastation, they told me, we feel like you've died. In the two hours that followed, they proceeded to compare me to murderers and pedophiles and inform me that I had turned my back on God and everything they had ever taught me. As I went to leave that day, they asked for the keys to their house back, saying they no longer trusted me to have open access to them. With three short words, our family home became their home. Nothing was ever the same. I've now been out for eight years and haven't had contact with any of my family in almost six. Mother's Day still makes my heart ache because my mom has missed so many moments that can never be replaced. She's missed huge milestones like my wedding, the purchase of my first home, the expansion of our little family, the publishing of two books. She's also missed countless small moments phone calls, the texts, the holidays, the laughter, the tears. None of these moments can never be brought back. This is the tragedy that happens when the mother does not affirm her child. But you, Mama Bears, are different. You have bravely and boldly risen up. You stepped to collectively fill the gap in both little and big ways for LGBTQ people all over the nation. You've helped fill that gap for me. You stood in where my mom should have been on my wedding day. Thank you, Loretta. You sent me a handmade blanket that I could wrap myself up in and know that I was loved, which I do often. Thank you, Liz. You have welcomed me into your home and instantly made me feel like family. Thank you, Sarah. You've stepped up as my grandmother and been there for so many of the big and small moments that my biological family has missed. Thank you, Trish. You've sent us care packages when we've been sick and invited us into your life and family through monthly meals together. Thank you, Lori. You've sent me messages on Mother's Day and other holidays, acknowledging the grief that is present, and expressing your love. Thank you, Morgan, Meredith, Robin, Cheryl, Beth, Kathy. You've supported my work financially as a physical expression of your love and affirmation. Thank you, Janice. You've had so many of those mother-daughter conversations with me this past year. My heart desperately needed. Thank you, Vicki. You, Mama Bears, are changing the planet changing me. Together as a group, you have stepped up to fill the gap of love, affirmation, and acceptance in my life. There's no words to express how much I need that, even as a grown, married, adult woman working in ministry for LGBTQ people. Every message, every text, every call, every Marco Polo, 
Every piece of snail mail helps to both fill the void I feel for my biological mother's absence of love and affirmation, while also inspiring me to continue working for the equality of LGBTQ people. I don't think the need for a mother ever really goes away. Nor will the pain or the memories of my mom telling me that she loves God more than me. Words like that never stop aching. But you, dear Mama Bear, are like a salve to my wounded soul. The pain is still there, but your love and your presence are like a healing balm. Please don't stop reaching out. It's hard for me to admit how much I need you sometimes. But underneath the pain and the fear and the rejection, I desperately want and need your love. You keep me going from day to day. I can never have enough of you in my life. And please don't stop loving or fighting for your child. I guarantee that your support of them will make all the difference in the world in how they perceive themselves moving forward. Your willingness to stick up for them at church, at school, with your family and friends matters. It matters. Your child is listening and they are watching, knowing that you have their back, will set them up for a brighter future of loving themselves, embracing their place in the world, and engaging in healthy spaces. Finally, know that I adore each of you. Whether I have met you personally or not, collectively as a group and as a movement, you inspire me. Keep marching, keep hugging, keep fighting, keep speaking up and reaching out. You are making the world a better, safer, and more loving place for LGBTQ people to live and thrive. My hope is that someday stories like mine no longer exist. Until then, thank you for walking alongside us in this journey called life. I am so deeply grateful for you. Happy Mother's Day. I love you.